Hey friends, it's Hope and today I am here to do my Friday Reads video for you guys and I don't know if you can see my shirt but I'm wearing my I'm Allergic to Mondays little tank top that I got at Kohl's and even though it isn't Monday I thought I'd wear it anyways because I love it. So guys, I am currently a hot mess when it comes to my book situation. I am in like this crazy, crazy, crazy slump. It is actually Thursday night, so it is September 24th. And I know in my last video I said I've read three books. Well, that was my mind playing tricks on me because friends, I've only read two. So hopefully this weekend, I will be continuing on reading one of these four. The first book that I am currently reading and hopefully will continue to read this weekend is The Adoration of Jenna Fox and it is by Mary E. Pearson. Now this is giving me some major Mara Dyer vibes. It's really futuristic which is different from Mara Dyer. Our main character has some type of injury because she was involved in some type of accident. She loses her memory and things are slowly starting to kind of piece together but her family Emily is acting really strange when she asks certain questions and just like Mara Dyer they like moved Jenna Fox out of the old place that she was living in and grew up in and now they're living in like a completely different state. I'm only on page 35 so I'm at the very beginning but like I said so far I'm getting some heavy Mara Dyer feels just in like a futuristic form. The next book that I have been currently reading for quite a long time now and I really do want to continue on with this book hopefully this weekend. You're gonna hear me say that a lot because that's kind of the point of this video but that book is Who Do You Love by Jennifer Weiner. I am currently on page 30. That kind of seems to be the trend with all these books. But yeah, I'm at the very beginning of this book and it's actually super cute if you guys don't know what the story is about. I believe it is a story about two people who meet in a hospital when they're kids and right now they're like eight years old and I think like 30 years or 40 years pass and their paths cross and they reunite. The next book I have to show you, I am more than 30 pages in, woo woo! My friend Ashley actually gave me this book to read and so far it has been amazing and just because I've been in a slump, I haven't picked it up and continued to read it every night like I normally would, but I am determined to finish this weekend. No if, ands, or buts, and that book is For the Love, and it is by Jen Hatmaker. Her name is right there. But yeah, this book is like super empowering. It's really putting me in such a great mood. It is about overcoming like standards that the world kind of puts on women or even standards we put on ourselves. And it is just a great read. Jen is hilarious. She is like my secret best friend right now. This girl is amazing. The last and final book that I plan on reading, at least starting this weekend, is going to be absolutely crazy because of the size of this freaking novel. But I am participating in Slay That series. I chose two books that I was going to try to read for that readathon, and I was originally going to go with the smaller one because I'm having trouble finishing a book, let alone getting past page 30. But guys, your comments changed my mind. So for that reason, I'm going to be reading City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. Your comments on my video told me that this book was super fun, a really fast paced read. You guys encouraged me to not let the size intimidate me. And so friends, I listened to your recommendations, I listened to your encouragement, and I am going to be starting this on Sunday. Even though I have these four books, I'm not gonna get a lot of reading done because I'm going out of town tomorrow night all the way through Sunday morning. So I'm not probably gonna be reading Friday or Saturday, which is okay because this readathon doesn't even start until Sunday, so boom. All right, friends, well, these are the books that I plan on at least attempting to try to read this weekend, and who knows, maybe I'll get some reading done on Friday. I'll bring one with me just in case. Let me know below if you guys are also reading something this week. Weekend. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm sure I will see you soon. Bye!